Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to When I Feel Like a Clock. And uh, I have an exciting uh, special, I guess you'd say. Uh, we have question and answer period for my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I had two questions in particular I'd like to get to. One of them kind of goes into our uh, ongoing summer uh, series that I've been doing. So, uh, But the first one it comes from uh, Nura Ashir from Qatar. Qatar. Qatar? Yeah, Qatar. And she asks, what is Nutella? Well, I, um, I hit the floor when I heard this. I, it really, it got me right here. Um, apparently, there's people in other countries that don't have Nutella. And so um, I have got my uh, assistant, uh, in this case, my masseuse, you can't see her, she's over there. My assistant, Sandy, um, one of my masseuses, to get together. Yeah, Sandy, um, right, yes, get the uh, vat of Nutella. We're sending, we need it helicoptered to Qatar. Uh, her name is Nura Ashir, and uh, we want it in there. We want it there as soon as possible, of course, right? So as I am um, the giving person that I am, uh, you, we are sending off a a vat of Nutella to uh, to Nura so she can bask in the splendor that is Nutella. And if you, you don't even need to, you know, go to that extreme, my friend, boys and girls. If you just subscribe to my channel, uh, we will have a vat of Nutella uh, helicoptered over to you. And of course, um, a lifetime supply of Jaime's Body Loop. Jaime's body loop, it's the best there. I said it. Stay well, loop, boys and girls. Anyways, so Nora, I'm not even going to tell you exactly what it is because I couldn't even put words, the adjectives to describe it. Just wait till it comes to your, comes to your, um, I guess, what, your your dirt pad or whatever it is that you have over there. And uh, and just dive in. Just I suggest just dive right in. Don't even, like, don't just put a toe in, nothing. Just dive. Anyways, next one, we are going to Chase Forsberg. I don't know where he's from, it doesn't say. I should have looked, I should have paid attention to that. But Chase Forsberg writes, um, the Tampa Bay Lightning, and uh, what, how, what do you think of Vasilevsky for the, the year to come? Well, Chase, I think he's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I love this kid. Uh, he's... The, as far as I'm concerned, he's the next big goaltender in the NHL. Um, he may, he's like the next WA, the next Price, that good. I think he's that good. Uh, the next King, Lundqvist, uh, maybe more in the Lundqvist style, actually. Um, just that he's going to be amazing. I think he's going to be amazing this year. And it's not just on him alone, but... He's one of the big reasons why I'm picking Tampa to make it out of the East this year. Um, I don't think they're going to go through the uh, injuries, of course, that they did last year. Well, I certainly hope not for their case. That was a disaster. Stamkos will stay healthy this year, God, hopefully. If that being the case, they have so much going for them. Um, pick, they picked up, uh, I, I, oh yeah, by the way, I have a... I have my notes written on a paper bag here. <laughs> uh, they have, uh, they brought in Dan Girardi this year. I wanted to talk a little bit about that. They have him on Hockey News and a bunch of things in the top four. And I do not think that's going to happen. I think Dodgin is going to beat him out pretty badly. Uh, I love Dodgin. I love his game. Um, I think he's a good moving. You know, I'm 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 uh, all about the hitting and and physicality that he brings. But he also plays a, a good two way game, especially in the defensive zone. Gets the puck out well. I the time that I times that I watched Tampa last year, which I can't. I got to say I'm not uh, watching them all the time, all the time. But I got to see them quite a bit, and uh, I loved his game. So I think that you're going to see him in the top four. Um, as the, uh, then you got Slater Kukuk and it starts to get a little thin after that. I think you're going to see them bring in some, uh, 
some people off the street, as they like to say, to uh, give them tryouts and uh, try to uh, fill in the roster because most of their defensemen underneath there, I think Malin, or Mal, or Mal, Malkin or something like that, they picked up in the second round in 2014. And he only got six points last year. So, and he's probably their best prospect they have right now on the D side. So I don't think we're going to be seeing I think they need to get a little more depth uh, for sure. For the forwards, uh, Palat, Point, and Kucherov. Uh, and, and, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about Johnson, who they just signed as well. Curious thing that they signed him. Um, they, I think he has a no movement clause as well. Um, it's they've got they're going for an all offensive up the middle uh, game. Point Johnson and Stamkos and Johnson plays an underrated defensive game though, boys and girls. So um, I shouldn't just say that he'll he'll probably be on a line with uh, Callahan or something like that, and uh, maybe even Kalorn. Uh, but um, they they could also use some help on the right side. Uh, Callahan as being their second line center is not optimum, uh, but I want to save the best for last. They're pro and they'll probably do that. They have a little bit of space. Uh, I want to save the best for last because another reason why I'm picking them is. Uh, and I said Dachin will beat him out, but possibly someone else might beat him out, and that would be the Sir, that of Sergachev. Uh, Sergachev's points dropped in junior last year a little bit. Uh, got went down about you know 15 points for the year. However, his defensive game was went up insanely. Uh, he is t he is learning on the fly very very fast. I had him. I picked Sergachev over Kachuk. I picked Sergachev over Pelia Harvey. Um, I had him higher than those guys in that draft, and there's a reason for that because this guy is going to be awesome. Think of Provorov in Philadelphia. Yes, his defensive game has needed some work, but he's working well, now that he's specifically working on it. It is becoming along swimmingly, very very good. Uh, he's going to make that defense incredible, but. Your question about Vasilevsky, you're going to love this guy this year. I think he's going to just eat up the league. Uh, possible Vesna. That's how good I think he is. So there's the answer to your question, Chase Forsberg. And I thank you for that question. Thank you for all of you for writing in your concerns and your questions. I'll get to more question and answers in the future, I'm sure. You can check out, I got a couple question and answer ones already on my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, you can, uh, I also just did a Arizona one uh, for the series and a Vancouver one. Check them out, boys and girls. And write some comments down in the bottom for me if you have anything that you need to say. And subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love to you.